Hi guys, Tech James here. So all the time when I upload a PlayStation Vita video, I get these questions. When is the 3.69 jailbreak coming out? When's the 3.70 jailbreak coming out? Can you release it already? Um, first of all guys, I'm not making a jailbreak. I just make the videos um, on the stuff that gets released just to promote it more. And so I can upload some stuff to my channel. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, there is some news about the PS Vita 3.69 and 3.70 jailbreak. I believe this was actually created today. So here you go, created nine hours ago by the official flow. This is the guy that's making it I don't make the jailbreaks I get a lot of people telling me to release it I'm not even the one that's making it um, I literally just made the tutorials but anyway this um, came out um, as I said nine hours ago and basically what he's saying here he's saying when it's roughly gonna come out and what you can do to prepare um, so when it does come out you will be able to install it straight away so if you guys want to go ahead and read all of it, I will link it in the video's description. I won't be reading all of it. I will just briefly be going through it and um, be showing you what to do, how to get your PlayStation Vita ready. So I'll just give it to this part. So um, he says he is giving us six to eight weeks time to um, download and basically set up our PS Vita ready for when that custom firmware actually drops. So he says he's gonna drop the jailbreak in six to eight weeks. So we're just going to have to wait for that. So please just stop spamming me emails, all this kind of stuff, asking for me to release it. But as you, as you see here, he says, follow the instructions below to successfully prepare your device for the hack. So if you have your PS Vita or PS TV on the 3.69 firmware, you have two options. You can update it to firmware 3.70. Now that is what I would recommend doing or you can set the DNS address to this. Now, basically what this does is it bypasses all updates. So it basically tricks the Sony servers to think that your PS Vita or PS TV is on the latest firmware. So it's up to you, update, use the DNS. You can pretty much um, choose either. I have got videos for the DNS on my channel. If you go ahead and search PS Vita DNS, um, there's probably about two of them. You can just follow them. They pretty much do the same thing. But anyway, I'd probably just recommend updating because the hack is going to work on both versions. So next, you must have a PlayStation Network account on the device. If you do not have one, then it won't work because we do actually have to download a PSP game uh, or PSP demo, which is for free on the PlayStation Network store. It also says here that only free devices can be activated using the same PlayStation Network account. So the next thing we need to do is download and install any PSP or minis game. So um, the PS1 Classic games do not work. There's actually a list of free games that you can get here. Now these games are all actually for free. So you can go onto the store and you can download these. So for the EU and the UK, that's where I live, I need to get Ape Quest. If you're in NA or SG, you need to get the Loco Roco Midnight Carnival. And if you're in Japan, you have to get the YS7. So I will be getting ape quest so i'm going to go onto my ps vita and show you guys how to get that right now okay guys so over on your ps vita or ps tv what we've actually got to do is just go ahead and open up the ps store from here we will actually need to find the psp game that we need to download so make sure you go and watch the previous part of the video to find which game you need to download mine was called ape quest so i'm going to go up to the search option and i'm just going to type it in here so it is ape quest for me so let's just search that there you go let's just search it now for Ape Quest, actually two version comes up. We have the PSP version right here. If you click on this one, you can see this is actually £6.49. Um, the one we need to get is actually free. Um, all of the games listed on that page are actually free. So we need to get the second one here, the um, Ape Quest Starter Pack. So all you would do is just tap download there or just scroll onto it and press X. I've actually already installed it. So once it is downloading, you will be able to see it downloading at the top here. So if you click on that, you can see Ape Quest has finished downloading and there it is on my home screen so what we can do is we can actually launch it up so it did say to test and just make sure the game launches so let's just go ahead and do that right now and there you go the game launches up fine so you don't actually have to do any gameplay or anything like that um, you just got to leave it um, on your home screen you might remember VHBL and um, this was also an app which worked with VHBL and Sony didn't even remove it so they're obviously not really too bothered about these hacks I guess and um, yeah that is pretty much it um, on your PS Vita or PS TV once you've got this app um, you've pretty much set it up um, of course unless you want to update or enter in the DNS server 
Okay, so just back on my computer, it also says, unfortunately, if you can't find a demo in your region, you must either buy a PSP game or register a new PlayStation Network account in one of the regions listed above. So you could just pretend it's in Europe and you would be able to get a request. Okay, so next, just make sure that you can launch up the game. We would have tested that. Also ask you to download and install QCMA. Now it actually has a link to it here, so you can just click on this. And basically what you can do is scroll down and just go to the downloads. We need to get a Windows installer. I've already set this up. I can just show you if I just type in QCMA, as you can see here it is, I can click on it and actually get this running. So um, I will be showing you obviously how to use this when the hack comes out, but you can pretty much just set it up on your computer now. So if you guys are wondering how to open it, you literally just find it down here, right click and you can just go to settings and this is pretty much it. But as I said, I will be showing you um, what to do um, when this actually does come out. We can actually change the custom PS version down here. Um, we can change that to pretty much whatever you want. But yeah, I will be showing you um, what to do when this does actually come out. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how you prepare. Um, hopefully I will stop getting questions about when it's going to be out now i mean you're just going to have to wait there's nothing i can really do about it obviously i will make the video as soon as it comes out as quickly as possible i don't know what i will be doing at the time but hopefully i can release it as soon as possible so yeah that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one